hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video tutorial will be on this draped mono strap bustier dress that is also a strapless bustier dress so the lower part of this dress is just a simple pencil skirt so if you're interested in learning how i was able to make this dress please make sure to keep on watching so you're going to need your strapless bustier pattern I have a detailed video tutorial where I showed how you can draft yours and even make it. So please check the link in the description box. So this is the first panel for the front, this is the second, this is the first panel for the back, why this is the second panel for the back. So this part of the F1 will be cut on the fold and I have used the sign to indicate that. After that I would add half an inseam allowance to the side and to the upper part like this and also to this side and the lower part. So for the F2, it's simply the same thing. I'll add half an inseam allowance to the upper part, to the sides and also to the lower part. And because I'm working with the stretchy fabric, I am not going to be adding any side seam allowance. But if your fabric does not stretch, please add your side seam allowance of probably one or two inches. So I'll also not be adding side seam allowance to this part of my V2 because of my fabric but I would add half an inch to the upper part, to the side and to the lower part. So I've got the zip allowance already there for B1. So I'll just add half an inch to the upper part, to the side and the lower part. So now I'll just go ahead and cut out all my pattern pieces on my fabric. So here they are. And I've got the F1 right here. And then I cut out two pieces of my F2. So next thing I'm going to do is to join the F1 and F2 together by the sides by half an inch and I'll repeat the same thing over here and this is my B2. I'll go ahead and join B1 and B2 together by the side by half an inch. I'll repeat the same thing on this other side and this is the zipper allowance area for B1 so that place is going to be left open. So after joining them together, I'm going ahead to place the sides of the back panel to the sides of the front and sew by one inch. So I'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on this other side. Sew the sides together by one inch. So here the sides are all sewn. So these are the two side seams. Now, because I won't be using the lining for this dress, I'll use my bias tape to finish the upper part of the bodies. So I have done that and after I was done, I gave it a good press so that the seam lines lay nice and flat. So for the lower part of the dress, I cut out a pencil skirt. So I've got the front here, the CF which is on a fold and I cut out two pieces for the back and I have an extension of one inch right here for the zipper allowance for the back. So from the waistline, I came down by one inch for the front. And from here to this point is my hip line. This is four inches above my knee, my knee line. And I have 1.5 inches for my hemming allowance. And now I'll go ahead and place the sides of the front to the side of the back. And I would sew them together by one inch. Now remember my fabric stretches, so I didn't add a side seam allowance, but I'll still sew them together by one inch. If your fabric does not stretch, please add your side seam allowance so you don't run into problems. So this is what I mean by my fabric stretches. It's a lycra fabric, so all your horizontal measurement, that is your circumference, should be on this grain. And then place your vertical measurement on this grain that stretches less. So I'll go ahead and sew the side seams, but I'll leave the zipper allowance area open. I'll be making use of this leftover one and a half yards of mesh net. This is mesh, not tool. So feel free to make use of what you have. So from here to this point is the one and a half yards for the net. Why from this point right here, which is folded, is the full length of one yard of net. So I folded it into two like this because of how I want the net to be around the bodies of the dress. So I'll go ahead and fold it into two again, making a total of four, and I'm going to notch the midpoint. So now I've got my bodies right here, and now I would place the center of the net that I notched to the center of my bodies, like so. 
to pin the center notches together like this and then for my side seam i'm going to fold the net like this the raw edge is move it inside then mark one inch away from your side seam place the net there and pin together like this and now from the center of the bodies to one inch after the side seam i'm going to start pleating this excess net that i have here so this is how i pleated mine you just have to make pleats that would balance up the extra net right there so after i was done with this side i did the same thing on the other side fold the raw edges of the nets inside and place it one inch after your side seam like this and go ahead and pleat the excess nets you have around that area so after pleating this um, part of the net that is left is what would drape over my shoulders to the back of the dress so at this point decide if you want the drape to go towards this direction or this direction so i want mine to go towards this direction so all you have to do is to just drape the net towards whatever direction you want it to go so mine is going towards this direction like this and now to keep the net in place i'll go ahead and make it top stitch right across this area on the waistline so the net is now secured after making the stitch so now it's time to sew the waistline of the skirt and bodies together so i'll start by placing the center notch of the waistline of the skirt to the waistline of the bodies like this so you need all the points to match up so after i have done that i would also pin the zip allowance of the two pieces together on both sides and after I'm done with that, I would make sure that the side seam lines matches up together because you want everything to be symmetrical. So I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew the waistline together by half an inch all the way to this other side. And by the time I'm done, the raw edges of the net is going to be concealed at the waistline. So I have made the stitch. You can see how concealed the raw edges of the net is so for the next step i would place the zip allowance line of the back part of the skirt together making sure that the notches that i made while cutting match up and for my hip line i'm going to mark two and a half inches downwards and this notch right here is four inches above my knee line so i'll go ahead and mark that out and i'll start sewing by one inch all the way to this point right here and this opening here will be for the slit of the dress so after making the stitch this is what it looks like so i gave here a good press so it lays nice and flat so i've got the slit right there so for the next step i'm going to be sewing the zipper and in order for the zipper to lay perfectly on the zipper allowance line i would be making use of this paper stay so all you have to do is to cut out strips that will match up with your zipper allowance line like this and you're going to use your iron to press the paper stay along your zipper allowance line make sure to do this on both sides of the zipper allowance so press it with your iron and after that go ahead and sew your zipper on the paper stay along the zipper allowance line and when you're done make sure to rip off the extra paper so i have sewn the zipper you can see how laid out it is it wasn't easy to sew the zipper but i made it so anyways from the hem i decided to decrease my dress length by marking four inches above the hem i am doing this because i tried to dress on after sewing the zipper and i didn't like the length it was just way below my knee so i want it to be a little bit above my knee so i'm just marking four inches above the hem of the dress like so and i'm just going back in to make sure that the hem is all straight so that the edges of the hem are not on even initially my skirt length was 32 inches from my waistline but i've decreased it by four inches so now from the hem i'm going ahead to mark two inches so these two inches will be the new allowance for the hem of the dress and because this fabric stretches it will not be proper for me to just go ahead and fold the hem allowance and sew it won't look good at all so i will use my hemming tape or gum to achieve a seamless finish so i folded the hemming tape into two 
like this and before you go ahead to finish up the hem with the hemming allowance of two inches make sure you have overlocked the raw edges of your hem please ignore the fact that i skipped this process i was trying to beat up time so after you must have overlocked the raw edges of your hem just fold or place the folded um, hemming tape like this on the two inches that you marked for your hem allowance then you fold over your hemming allowance like this make sure it conceals the hemming tape then go ahead and press that area with your steam iron yes you really need a steam iron for this process to make everything easy so i have pressed mine and you can see that the tape is now secured to the dress so in front you can see that there are no seams and this helps to give the dress a very good look so i'm going ahead to repeat the process again so make sure your allowance covers the tape then use a steam iron press it very well and you can see how relaxed the hem is so now go ahead and just do this around the entire hem so here is my finished work around the hem of the dress you can see how how nice it looks if you try to sew this without doing this process i'm telling you you're going to regret it so now it's time to just drape the net over the bodice of the dress so i want mine to go towards this direction so all you have to do is to drape it over your shoulder at this point whoever is wearing the dress needs to wear the dress because you need to drape it while the person is wearing it so i'm going to wear mine and i'm going to drape it over my shoulders towards this point on my waistline where i marked one inch away from the side seam and i'll tack here so i just wanted to show you guys how it looks like over my shoulders because i will be making some finishing touches on the dress when i'm done so i'll go ahead and trim off this excess net that i have here when i'm done with the entire dress and this is what the back of the dress looks like you can see how the zipper is laid out that is why you need to do what i did so i'll go ahead and tack these two points that i marked with my chalk to the bodice of the dress so that the drape stays in place and finally guys the dress is ready so all i did was to place silver appliques on the shoulder area the waistline of the dress and also at the back of the dress at the point where the net drapes over the back so here is a full picture of the dress so you can have an idea of the length and finally guys if you've enjoyed this video so far please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new to this channel and please turn on post notifications so you get alerted for my next video